I miss the competition. Every time I watch, just watching everybody compete. It, I... Go to any search engine, type in fastest man in the world, and you'll get the same result, Usain Bolt. Many have tried and so far failed to steal that title from him. Still, he isn't too proud to admit that his world records would one day fall. Records are meant to be broken. I wish them all the best, but it's not gonna be easy. For a decade or so now, this proved to be true. Too true. Arguably, the most naturally gifted athlete the world has ever seen, Usain St. Leo Bolt, created history at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio when he achieved the triple-triple. Three gold medals at three consecutive Olympic Games. Usain's journey to worldwide stardom started at the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing, where he won the 100-meter, 200-meter, and 4x100-meter, all in world record times. He followed this up with three gold medals in the same events at the 2012 Olympic Games in London to write his name in the history books as the world's fastest man. Then, just before he turned 30, he completed the same triple at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio to cement his legacy as a legend in world sport. In addition to his nine Olympic Games gold medals, Usain won 11 World Track and Field Championships titles. He completed the 100-meter, 200-meter, and 4x100-meter sweeps at the 2009 World Championships in Berlin, 2013 World Championships in Moscow, and 2015 World Championships in Beijing. He also won the 200-meter and 4x100-meter at the World Championships in Daegu in 2011. Usain currently holds the world records in the 100-meter, 200-meter, and 4x100-meter with times of 9.58 seconds, 19.19 seconds, and 36.84 seconds. His first world record was in the 100-meter in 2008, when he posted a time of 9.72 seconds in New York. He lowered it to 9.69 seconds at the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing and then to 9.58 seconds at the 2009 World Championships in Berlin. He holds the three fastest times ever run 9.58, 9.64, and 9.69. And that's just for the 100-meter sprint. As for the 200-meter, he set a new world record also in 2008 in Beijing, taking 0.02 seconds off Michael Johnson's previous mark with a time of 19.30 seconds. He lowered this time further to 19.19 seconds in Berlin in 2009, a time which may stand for years to come. As part of the Jamaican 4x100 meter team, Usain broke three world records, 37.10 seconds in Beijing in 2008, 37.04 seconds in Daegu in 2011, and 36.84 in London in 2012. Jamaican teams with Usain have seven of the 10 fastest four by 100 meter times in history. Simply put, Usain Bolt has been the face of the past several Olympic games. To win the event's blue ribboned event, the 100 meter just once guarantees Olympic immortality. To do it three times at consecutive games and add the 200 meter and four by 100 meter relay titles to the mix, gives him a good case to be considered the greatest athlete of all time. Still only 38, he is a living legend. Add real charm and humor to the mix, and Bolt has been the superstar that the games needed over the last decade and a bit. Talking about the Olympics, he shared something that is both a warning and advice to those aspiring to be as great as he is. Where it becomes difficult is the next four years. That's, that's when it becomes, when you have to do it back to back to back, that's when it becomes the issue. Um, doing it once is never an issue. Many people have won medals. On that note, what makes the Olympic Games so special? For Bolt, one thing above all stands out. I think because it brings so much sports together, it really helps people to see the different disciplines and see how hard other athletes work to get to the level, he admitted. I think that's why it's such a big thing, because it's a group and everybody's all inclusive. That's why I think it makes it special. Although the Jamaican eight-time Olympic gold medalist, famed for his record-breaking exploits, no longer steps foot on the track to compete, he relishes being an Olympic spectator now. I get to go to different events now. I can go watch swimming. I can go watch basketball, football, everything. 
I mean, that's what I'm most excited about, Bolt said. Throughout my years, I've always just had to watch track and field, so now I get a chance to go see everybody in life, he added. Standing on the track and watching from the stands probably brings out different emotions, but Bolt welcomes both. After all, he stood on both sides, on the track when he competed, then out when he retired from the track after the 2017 World Championships. Since his retirement in 2018, Bolt has remained extremely popular and high profile. He attempted to become a professional footballer. He, in fact, trained with sides like Borussia Dortmund and Central Coast Mariners, as well as playing at Soccer Aid. He also has several business interests, including a new range of electric scooters. As Forbes put it, Bolt is a marketing juggernaut with more than a dozen sponsors. Most deals have continued in retirement. His biggest deal is with Puma, which pays Bolt more than $10 million annually. He co-founded Tracks and Records, a restaurant in Jamaica, with branches in Kingston and Montego Bay. He may have been out of professional competitions for a couple of years now, but his love for the sport remains. Likewise, he has the respect and the admiration of the athletes after him, even if they are clamoring to break his records. Speaking of records, the fastest man to have ever run the sprints thinks that he will lose the 200-meter world record before his 100-meter record. When asked about it, he said, I really don't know. I think the 100 meter is going to be harder because it's quicker. And if you make a mistake during the race, you're not going to get it. He explained that the 100-meter sprint is a lot more technical, so it would probably be the last world record to be broken. Reflecting on his 100-meter world record in Berlin in 2009, Bolt said, I remember actually we had a bet, me, my coach, and my masseuse, on how fast I was going to run. I knew I was going to break the world record because I was in such good shape at the time. I was running great throughout the season. Despite having been retired from athletics since 2017, the Jamaican still holds the title of the world's fastest man, as he remains the double world record holder in the 100 meter and 200 meter with 9.58 seconds and 19.19 seconds respectively. It's a great title, he shared. It's something that I enjoy even if I say it's not the most important, but it's a great title to have. It's something I enjoy knowing. Well, after Paris, he still remains to be on the top of the sport, with Noah Lyles as one of the front runners in following his greatness. Even Bolt sees that. People, of course, kept comparing the two. And so, a 3D simulation that shows what a 100-meter race between sprint legend Usain Bolt and Olympic champion Noah Lyles would look like circulated quickly on the web. The simulation began with a 100-meter race that was won by Bolt. The second simulated race has Lyles beginning the race with a head start, but despite the advantage, Bolt still won the race. In the final simulated race, this time over 200 meter, Bolt ran ahead of Lyles to the finish line. To be fair, this is just a simulation. Who knows what could happen in real life, right? Lyles may be aiming to break Bolt's record, but they have the same visions for the sport. As Bolt said, what does he mean actually? Well, here's a peek at what other athletes are up to post-games.